So yeah, nobody likes a broke rapper. Nobody. So if you can't pay your way to get in the club, if you can't pay for video shoots, if you can't pay for an uh, exclusive ass photo shoot here and there, if you can't invest in the people who are helping you around you to make your career something, trust me, your career will be nothing. Because you have to invest in yourself for this shit to become something. I'm gonna tell you that straight up. You feel me? No, it's not paying off a lot of motherfuckers. You don't need to pay everybody, just pay the right people. That's all it is. You feel what I'm saying? Like, people doing too much out here, and I feel like that's what the problem is right now. Is like, niggas are not doing enough or they're doing too much. You get what I'm saying? And you don't need all that, man. You don't need all that. You just need the right people around you because the right people will get you in the right circles. My fool Chrome, he, uh, Chrome, who I just mentioned earlier, right? Mm -hmm. He was like, yo, this rap shit is an expensive hobby. Like, that's what he calls it because mm -hmm. it might work, it might not work. And then mm -hmm. it's something that most people cannot go without. Right. So no matter what, you're going to have to be doing this shit rather mm -hmm. you make it or make not. Make it or not, like, right. Like, I did, I did an interview with Mike Smith and he was like, um, he was like, if he doesn't do music in a day, like he just starts to like catch the mood swings and shit, mm -hmm. or like you know, it just it's a bad day for him. I feel exactly what he means. It's like it, it makes you like what like antsy. You feel what I'm saying? Like I just can't be in the crib and nothing popping. Like you feel me? Like I need something that's gonna make me feel edified. Like ask my photographer how often I call his phone about pictures. Like you get what I'm saying? I need to do something that's going to amp up what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's a small step, I have to always be making steps forward. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, like, your IG is mad lit, so that makes sense. That you I appreciate it. <laughs> and shout out, shout out Mike Smith, man. Like, he been doing it for Dave for the longest, man. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like he don't get enough credit in a lot of situations. And, dog, Mike Smith been doing it big. And, like, shout him out, real talk, because that's that's another artist who who is paving the way for a lot of us local artists. And I feel like he's not getting the credit that he should get you know what i mean and he's been doing this for a minute so i hope either the label come across and sign him or he get a bomb ass management team who give him everything he need you feel me you know what my theory is what's up my theory is that people just don't really appreciate lyrics like that no more i feel you what you're saying. What I'm saying like i forgot who i was listening to i don't know but let's, let's use rich homie kwan as an example right if you listen to his first mixtape, it's still going in joint, right? Mm -hmm. And then you listen to him now, it's a totally different person. Yeah. It's almost like they intentionally dumb it down to appeal to more mm -hmm. people. So that, that's all. Like, when I spoke to him, that was my, you know, my thing. I'm like, I don't really, I like you, but I don't really know how appealing it's going to be because it's so, right. it's so detailed. Mm -hmm. So what's your, your your opinion on, I guess, you know, the, the dumb... No, nah, I ain't going to call it dumb down, because we're not going to call it dumb. People like it, but I guess the more watered down mm. version that rap has become today. Um, I feel like, water, um, to, to use the word uh, watered down is a good word, but... And that's how I used to feel. I used to feel like music sounded dumb. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I used to be like, dog, what the fuck is going on right now? But then I really started peeping. Like, I got a lot of young nephews and stuff that listen to a lot of different music. And it's like, damn, I'm like, dog, this nigga sound retarded. But then when you listen in, their flow is just a little unorthodox. But they be saying some shit sometimes. You feel me? Sometimes. And um, that's the thing is I give everybody chance. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's music a chance. Like, I try not to knock anybody for what they doing or the wave that they trying to ride. But me personally, I'm going to give you bars. You get what I'm saying? Like, you may get a track or two that's on maybe some commercial shit or some ABC 123 shit because I know that you need it. You feel what I'm saying? But besides that, like, I'm going to give you bars. I'm going to give you punchline for punchline or you feel me, bar for bar. Something that's going to make you stop and think during the verse. Like, damn, he really said that? You get what I'm saying? So... I like lyrical um, artists personally. I'm a person. I like watching battle raps. Um, I like things like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like... You are on TV, smack like that type of shit is my thing. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's the type of things that I indulge in. You feel me? Like competition is one of those things that make that fuel me. You feel what I'm saying? This is mm, shit. What I was gonna say. My theory, like, so how I just told you how people kind of um kind of water themselves down to appeal to more people. I also feel that when it comes to rappers, right? The ones that pop the most are the ones that represent for the people of that time. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So if you look at somebody like Trick Daddy, right? He 
he was somebody that looked like and acted like everybody. Because if you think about the trick and JC Money, damn near looked the same. Mm-hmm. So he looked and acted like the people of his time. So sometimes when when people be like, oh, you know, these kids today they not rapping and whatever, I'm like, I mean, I feel you, but they they act and look like the mm-hmm. people who buying their music. Right. You see what I'm saying? But nobody really ever mm-hmm. ever gets that. I don't know. I feel what you're saying. And then sometimes, a lot of times, they're the trendsetters. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't want certain haircuts or certain hair um, styles, or they not rocking certain brands till they see somebody else in it. You get what I'm saying? Or till they see that wave created, you know? And, um, you know, we know Trick Daddy for rocking all this polo. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's just certain things that that we knew him for. Of course, shout out Trick Daddy. We don't have to even really say that, but I got to say it because it's an interview and I'm from Miami. You feel what I'm saying? But... Shit, man, Trick Daddy, dog. Fuck Trick Daddy dollars, man. Damn, dog. Thugs are us. Like, dog, that's life right there. You feel me? That's the things that really take me back. Because I know there's a lot of young artists who are out right now, and they can't even relate to Trick. Like, you feel me? I'm 28 years old. Like, I remember Thugs are us album. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when when certain things dropped, and they he was the man you know what i'm saying like i remember when trina was putting on for our city and of course she still is everybody still knows her name but you know what i mean when i say trina putting on for our city you know what i mean so it's 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 crazy to see the people who paved the way for us to make it happen and to know that that's one of those things that i strive to be one of those people who are going to pave that way for other artists to feel like oh yeah i can do this you feel me he did it so i can do it create opportunities for other artists who can you know what i'm saying create platforms things like that because i mean there's platforms out there for artists but either they're not taking advantage of them or they're open up for a select artists keep it g with you you feel what I'm saying? I'm sure that there's th- things and opportunities that get open to me that don't get open to any other artist. And that's because of where I've reached in my career. You get what I'm saying? So.